the divorce lawyer. Getting into probably some. <laughs> Hey, thanks for coming out to our summer social to benefit kids in distress, the local kids in our community. We appreciate you coming out today to spend some time with us. We've got a great taco truck, some gelato, and most importantly, we're supporting the kids in our local community that have nothing sometimes, so it's great to give back. Thanks for coming. We look forward to enjoying the party for kids. Good evening, everyone. Hello. All right, we'll try that again. That's your chance to say good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Well, thank you for coming out. This is our second year doing this. The first year was when we purchased the building, and now this year we decided to do a summer social. And everyone always asks me, why do I do these events? And I say, because I have so many different networks of people, and this is the only time I get to see you all together, talking to each other, learning what one does that the other one doesn't do. So it's very nice to have you all here. For those of, does anyone here not know me? I don't know no? you. No? So, okay. I don't know you. You don't know me. A few of you. Well, for those of you that don't own, uh, that don't know me, my name's Kevin Thatcher. I own the title company. You've met my lovely staff, uh, 15 plus of us here. We're here to serve the community. Just do, do right by others. And that's what it's all about tonight. We're benefiting kids in distress. Most of you saw that. It's a charity that is near and dear to my family's heart, my staff's heart, my client's heart. That's why we decided to align ourselves with kids in distress and uh, just raise as much money as we can. It was just a couple of weeks ago that my wife and I had an opportunity with our daughter to take 85 children. And, and think about this for a second. These are children who live probably about a mile from here east. How far are we from the beach? Does anyone know? Two miles, maybe three miles. Guys, these are kids, 3.7 miles. Okay, so three points, who said that? Alex. So three, okay, let's say three miles from the beach. These are kids that live a mile away from here and they've never seen sand. Could you imagine? So my wife and I had the opportunity, we, we were doing a cooking event and on the bottom of the uh, donation said Miami Sea Aquarium. And my wife called Amy over at Kids in Distress and said, well, what's this? Because we really want to do the cooking with kid, because we did it last year where we get together with a bunch of kids and just make a difference in their lives. It's called the recipe of success. So they team you up with someone and you get to just share your recipe for success and cook with them. But we said, what is this thing? 
at the bottom. It says Miami Sea Aquarium, but this is a cooking event. And they said, oh, don't worry about that. Nobody ever, nobody ever does anything with that. that we just put that on there for, with the hopes that someone's going to ask about it. Well, for those of you that know my wife, she asked about it. And three or four months later, we paid to take 85 children to the Miami Sea Aquarium, kids that have never seen the beach, let alone see a dolphin, a whale, a sea lion. And it is amazing to see the smile on these kids' faces. And when I asked my daughter, do you want to go to camp? And she was talking to her mother, and she said, Mom, these are kids that have nothing. I'm taking them to the Sea Aquarium. So it wasn't about going to the Sea Aquarium. It was about helping the kids. A few people that I wanted to thank, Wit. Where are you, Wit? Everyone say hi to Wit. Wit, Wit is our underwriter. For those of you, we insure title, and he's the one that we write. 95% of our business through and they were kind enough to donate school supplies and a check for $500 to support kids in distress so thank you very much and uh, we really appreciate it so I just want to bring up Mark for one quick second just to tell you about kids in distress for those of you that brought backpacks it's great you know I tell people money is great but the feeling and the experience of going and buying my staff will tell you I kind of force them I bought 10 backpacks and force them to go to the store and buy all of the supplies to fill the backpacks and then we took it there. And when we walked in, I saw this, this young lady who works for Kids in Distress had a little baby. And when I tell you the baby, I could have held the baby in the palm of my hand and I was like, oh my God, this kid is gonna grow up with nothing. And that's the way these children grow up when they get into the system. And an organization like KID really helps these kids. So we used to do a lot of other charities, but the kids don't have a choice. These kids are put in this situation by unfortunate circumstances out of their control. Right? So we thank you for the backpacks. I'm going to bring him up just for one second to just tell you real quick about KID, what they do real quick. Just go down, check it out. And again, I thank you all for your money donations and just for coming out and sharing the uh, evening with us. I appreciate it. My wife and daughter appreciate it. My staff appreciates it. And I know all the clients here, you guys love the stuff that we do. So this is just one of those great things for the community. So come on up, tell them a little bit about KID. Before I tell you one minute about KID, just, let's just, a big yell, you know, not only happy birthday, but Kevin, Alana, Alana okay, <laughs> Lindsay. I think I say it wrong every time. Alana, thank you so much for what you did. What you did is you made dreams come true for 85 kids this summer, and it was absolutely amazing. So we actually brought a picture here to say thank you, and a family picture, because the Tatchers are part of our family and part of our kids' family. And you guys are awesome, and you made a huge difference. So happy birthday to you, Kevin, and thank you. And then Amy Evans, who's my colleague from KID, also has some thank you notes and a birthday card from our kids. So... You know, I'm also here to just say thank you to you as a community, um, in an independence title community, for the things that you have done, it, bringing school supplies, donations to kids in distress. You know, the Tatchers are our ambassadors. They are champions for our kids. And one of the things that is incredibly important that Kevin alluded to is that our kids need to dream. They need to have exposure to things outside of our organization. Going to the beach is one of those experiences. Going to Miami Sea Aquarium is one of those experiences. There's not a way that they're going to be able to get out of their current community, their current situation, their current level of poverty without having experiences that allow them to dream bigger. And allowing them to dream bigger allows them to do better, to be bigger, to dream what they can be and who they can be. And that's essentially what the Tatchers did this summer. It allowed our kids to dream big. And dreaming big means they can become big. Um, many of our kids want to be doctors and lawyers and teachers, and now some of them want to be dolphin trainers. So thank you, Tatchers. Thank you, folks that are here tonight. Um, if you want to learn more about our agency, we actually impact about 11,000 kids per year across Broward and Palm Beach counties through a continuum of programs, all the way through maternal health to foster care and adoption. I don't leave any community event without saying, if you don't hear anything else other than thank you to the Tatchers, we are in an incredible need of foster parents throughout Broward and Palm Beach counties. If anybody is interested in being a foster parent, um, you can give me a call directly or visit our website. Um, I have cards here, but if you want to learn more about the organization, stop by for a tour absolutely any time. Because once you meet our kids, you fall in love with our kids, and you too can dream with them. So thank you for what you do. Thank you for coming tonight. Kevin and Alana, thank you so, so much. All right. I'll never forget, you know, the, two years ago I did the Cooking with Kid. It was pretty cool. Last year, I, I, well, this year I had the chance to meet with Peter. And it was so cool when we went to the Sea Aquarium. 
and all of a sudden we're getting ready to eat lunch and here's this kid he's sitting like this on the bench and he's got his foot up like this and he's like he, he wouldn't let anyone sit next to him except for me and then we went to the dolphin show same thing the whale show the same thing so you know how do you impact the kids in our community that's how you do it so again thank you all for coming thank you to bc tacos for those of you that don't know bc tacos they are phenomenal follow them on facebook and find out where they are every day somewhere different and then our famous gelato here this is a new this is sam everyone say hi sam I found Sam on Facebook. I went to the gelato place. It's over on 441 in Parkland. Unbelievable. But not only is the gelato unbelievable, but Sam himself is unbelievable. His family, the history of his family, how they became gelato makers, and uh, you know, just giving back to the community. That's why we decided to sponsor and have him here and, and get the gelato, because they're a local family-owned company that believes in giving back to the community and do charity work. So I said, since I love it, we're going to have it here. So. Enjoy the evening. We have tacos, I think, till about 7.30. So eat the tacos, eat the gelato, clean out the cooler of beer, and uh, we'll see you guys for your next closing or at another event sometime soon. So thank you very much. If it rains, we have the tent on the side. So we'll see you in a little bit. so much. I appreciate it. What's supposed to happen? <laughs> Are you filming? You need to delete that.